Inhaling, bring the arms on either side. Stretch the arms, stretch them. And synchronizing the breath, bring the arms. One, two, three, four, five. Exhaling, bring the arms down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale. Exhaling, bring the arms forward. Inhale. Exhale, rotate the arms. And reverse. And release. One more time. Inhaling, bring the arms. Interlock your fingers. Elongate this way. Stretch a little bit more. Exhaling, bend to the right. Inhale. Exhaling, bend to the right. And release. Now gently practice the chest rotation. Inhale, exhale. And reverse. And release. And now let's practice the shoulder rotations. Inhale, exhale, join the elbows. And reverse. And release. Bring your shoulders up, in, out, down. Now let's practice neck rotations. Inhaling, bring the chin up. Exhaling, chin to the chest. Inhale, exhale. Now turn the head from side to side. Inhale, exhale to one side. Inhale, exhale to the other. Now drop the right ear to the right shoulder, left ear to the left. And release. Bring the palms to the back of your head. Bring chin to the chest. Gently hold. Inhale. Look up. Exhale. Chin to the chest. Inhale. And place the palms on the forehead. And release. Now let's practice the neck rotation. Inhale. Exhale. And reverse.
and release. Bring the left arm all the way to the right. So today I will practice longer pranayam because we didn't have a chance in the weekend. We only have two days this week. And change. And release. Now let's practice and quench. One, two, three, four, five. And bring the arms forward. And bring the arms. Now take care of the blanket. Bend your knees. Drop the knees from side to side. Knees to the right. Turn the head to the left. Knees to the left. And now practice the butterfly if you can. This is not possible. Practice half butterfly like you do always. Hold the knees, bring the knees. And gently practice the Baddha Konasana. I know it's uh, early morning, the body is stiff, but you know, just stay where you can. Be gentle. Push the knees down and elongate this point. Stay there. Feel that nice stretch in the hips. And the idea is you have to feel the stretch in the back, lower back. So do not round the back. Inhale and again bring the knees down. We're being gentle because it's in the early morning. So now practice the Gomukhasa. So I'm going a little faster because you all have practiced over the weekend, so practicing regularly should be okay. Now interlock your fingers, stay in Gomukhasa. And if you like, practice Kapal work. Stay there for a few more moments. Bring the chest down on the ribs. 
four. And change to the other side. One more pass. Push the left elbow down. Whichever knee is on the top, push the left elbow down. And as you push the elbow down, notice that stretch in the lower back and the hips. Feel that nice stretch. But do not be in pain. If you need to come out, it's okay. And practice couple of if you can. And practice the counter post. And release. So now you may lie down on the mat and relax. Inhaling, bring the arms beyond the head. Feel the stretch in the lower back. Exhale. Inhale. Point the feet. Stay there for three breaths. Continue to inhale and exhale. Stretch the lower body. And push the heels back. Feel the stretch in the upper body. Stay there. One more time. Point the feet. And push the heels back. And release. So now we'll practice leg lifts. But before that, let's practice a few back bends so that you will not have any discomfort. Put your forehead down. Extend your arms forward. Relax the back. Bring the right heel to the right heel, left heel to the left heel. Both the heels to both the heels. And the left heel, okay. And the left
Да, братья и сестры, макрас на Lower back is an area that is punished in the more throughout the day. So we try to just take the opportunity to relax it, give it some nice stretching and relaxation. Relax on your cheek. Now sit on the hips, put your head down, come to tail's pose. And if you cannot do this, practice cat and dog stretch. So what you want to do, practice Padangustasana and bridge pose before leg lifts. So that will ensure that you will not have any discomfort. So by practicing Padangustasana, you are relieving the hips. So let's practice on the right side. And pull the strap towards you so that you feel a tension in the calf muscles and hamstrings. Do not bend at the knee. On the other hand, do not lock the knee. Keep it flexible and gently hold it and enjoy the pose. It should be enjoyable for you. Feel the stretch. And bring the right foot all the way to the right. Extend your left. And bring the right foot all the way to the left. If you be gentle, if you have any hip conditions, do not go to extremes. Be gentle. Work with the body slowly, it will help you to change.
Thank you. Let's go to the other side. And bring the left foot all the way to the left. Turn the head to the right. And as you hold the pose, ask yourself, where is my awareness? Am I focusing on the body? Let the mind not wander. Feel the stretch on the right side and the right hip. Keep the right hip on the floor. And change. And release. Now bring the knees into the chest. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Open the knees. Close. Open. Give a massage to the back. And reverse. And release. So now let's start with the leg lifts. Extend your arms on either side. Point the feet. Push the heels back. Inhale and raise the feet to 90 degrees. Open the feet at the top. Join them at the bottom. Inhale. Exhale. And reverse. And release. Relax. Now place the palms under the hips. Point your feet once again. Feel the stretch in the lower back. Push the hips back. Relax. Now let's practice the leg lifts. When you are ready, inhale at the count of five mentally. Exhale, exhale, longer than five seconds. Keep going as many times as you can without struggling for breath.
relax. Now practice Setu Vandanasana bridge first. Place the palms under the heels. Raise into bridge. Exhale, come back. Inhale. Come to a supported bridge. If you can. Walk the right foot forward. Walk the left foot forward. Come back. Relax. Now, next, next round of leg whips. Inhaling, bring the feet to 90 degrees. Drop the feet towards the left palm. Or inhale. Drop the feet towards the right palm. They are traveling towards the palm, making an attempt to touch the palm. Do not strain. Keep going. Do not bend at the knees. And relax. Relax. Now, inhaling, bring the arms beyond the head. Point your feet. Push the heels back. And in the next inhalation, bring the feet to 90 degrees. Inhale. Exhale. And as you exhale, stretch the legs. Right? Feel that nice stretch in the back. Inhale. Exhale. Now let's practice slower motion. Stay there for three breaths. Now come to number nine. Bring the feet down by one inch. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Now imagine if you have to go back the same way. <laughs> That's what we were used to doing, right? So, but anyway, do not strain. Come back. Keep your feet straight. Bring your palms under the head. Practice cycling motion. And reverse. Right elbow to the right. Touch and hold. Stretch the left leg. 
complete. Change. Right elbow to the left, touch and hold. Left elbow to the right, switch and touch, switch and touch, and release. Raise the feet, grab hold of the toes, swing forward and back. And stand up. Let's get ready for standing for this. And the hips. Bring the palms to the lower back, middle back. You remember when you do this with awareness, the chakras are aligned. So where the nadis are released. Shri Krishnamacharya, at a later stage in the life, he used to practice one hour of asana and two hours of pranayama and three hours of meditation or something like that. So Ramasar used to tell us. So as we go along, <clears throat> we have to find a routine that helps that's just enough to do pranayams and meditation. Inhale, exhale. And let's practice the Bhagavad Sarvanga. Thank you. 
let's practice a few rounds of Purnamaskas, then inversions and pranayams. Relax the body, come to the front of the mat, relax the breath. Push your shoulders up, stand straight. And feel the alignment in the body. Om Mitraya Namaha Om Ravaya Namaha Om Suryaya Namaha Om Bhanave Namaha Om Khagaya Namaha Om Pushne Namaha You can sit on the hills if you cannot come down, that's okay. And let Om Hiranya Gadbhaya Namaha Be gentle, do not push too much. Om Marijaya Namaha Om Marijaya Namaha Om Marijaya Namaha Stretch the right leg, send it higher, higher, higher. Om Adityaya Namaha Om Savitre Namaha Om Arkaya Namaha Om Bhaskaraya Namaha Relax. Catch your breath. Completely relax. Take a deep inflation. There is no rush. Do it at your own pace. Om Mitraya Namaha Om Ravaya Namaha Om Suryaya Namaha Om Bhanave Namaha Om Khagaya Namaha Om Pushne Namaha Om Hiranya Garbhaya Namaha Om Arichaya Namaha Raise the left leg, send it to the ceiling. Do not bend at the knee, half split. Stay there. Om Arichaya Namaha Push the pelvis forward, curl the toes. Om Savitre Namaha Om Arkaya Namaha Om Bhaskaraya Namaha Relax. Om Mitraya Namaha Om Ravaya Namaha Om Suryaya Namaha Om Hanare Namaha Straighten the right leg, press the right palm down, raise the left arm, look up. Bring the left arm under the right elbow three times. Om Khagaya Namaha Om Pushne Namaha Om Hiranya Garbhaya Namaha Om Arichaya Namaha Om Adityaya Namaha Raise the right arm, straighten the left leg three times. Om Sadhite Namaha. Clasp the arms. Be gentle. Om Arkaya Namaha. Om Bhaskaraya Namaha. Relax. Om 
ओम मित्राय नम ओम रवय नम ओम सूर्याय नम ओम भानवय नम लेफ्ट ने डाउन पुश द पेलुस फॉर and if you are ready practice this final push you can stay there gently you don't have to go to extremes stay there om kavaya namaha om pushne namaha put the head down relax सवित्रे नम ओम भास्कर प्रैक्टिस त्रिकोण आसना सपरेट द फीट बाय नो मोर देन थ्री फीट and push the shoulders up now without turning the torso turn the right foot out left foot in come to trikonas keep your fingers together stay there one two three Four, five, change. Left foot out, right foot in. One, two, three, four, five. If you like practice one more time. This time, bring the left arm over the left ear. Right foot up, left foot in. Bring the left arm over the left ear. Hold there for five breaths.
Practice your inversions. Once you relax, put your head down completely. Relax. There is no rush.
We'll start planets. See, the mantra protects us, right? So that's what our uh, J. Swamiji always says. The reason being, you cannot think of anything else when you are chanting the mantra. Right? At some level, it is that simple. So, if you want to concentrate, you keep chanting the mantra loudly. Then you cannot think of anything. So that is the power of mantra. Okay, so we'll start pranayams.
start with couple bracket, sit on the blanket or whatever position that you are comfortable with. So when you practice Kapalvati, Bhastrika, you are full of energy, right? Relax. So let us start. When you are ready, you can go up to one minute if you like. Use your core to pull the abdomen. Do not shake the body. Release. As you apply the Udhyana Bandha, it also massages and helps with the lower back. Okay. Now the third and final round. Place the palms on the shoulder blades, elbows facing the ceiling. Let us start when you are ready.
X. So we'll practice there as well. Uh -huh. So you can sit in Vajrasana if you like, practice with Jay, right? Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Well done. Relax. So when you practice three pranayams, your Nadi Shodhan pranayam becomes very enjoyable. Six and four. Relax the breath. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Well done. Relax. Seven and fourteen. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Relax the cheeks, relax the facial muscles. Breathe in. In we go. Breathe out. Breathe out. Eight and sixteen. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Take it to a normal breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out.
Well, so when you exhale, do not force the breath, right? So you have to do it in such a controlled fashion. Your breath is not traveling too much. It stays within two angles of the nose. So that's very important. Nine and eighteen. <clears throat> Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now 10 and 20. Make sure your breath is relaxed. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Relax. After Kumbhaka practice, so inhale and hold the breath. So apply the Jalandar Bandha and Mola Bandha. Then when you exhale and hold, Udhyan Bandha as well. So let's practice. Nadi um, sorry. Antar Kumbhaka. Come to Vishnu Mudra. Bend your index finger and middle finger. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Start exhaling through left nostril. Breathe in. Silent breath. Hold. Breathe out. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Well done. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. 
breathe out. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Well done. Relax. So now let's practice Bahya Kumbhaka. After exhaling, you can pull the abdomen inside, so apply the Jalandra Bandha, Vidyana Bandha and Mola Bandha. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. Completely relax the breath. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. Okay, so we practice Nari Stodham Pranas. Five, five, ten, five. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. 
breathe out. Hold, breathe in, hold, breathe out. Hold. Well done. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold, breathe out. Hold, breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Take some shit rest. Relax the breath. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. Relax. So now we will increase the holding to six seconds. And, and by any means, do not strain. So you don't have to hold six seconds if you cannot. 
So please do what is comfortable for you. Lungs are very sensitive. We have to be careful. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in, hold, breathe out. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in, hold, breathe out. Breathe out. Hold. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold, breathe in, hold, breathe out. Hold. Well done. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold, breathe out. Hold. 
Breathe out. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. Relax. Naturally, as they practice more rounds, you get used to this. Uh, body develops, the lungs develop the tolerance for carbon dioxide and develop the ability to stay without oxygen for some time, exhalation. So we'll go to the third round, third set with seven seconds for it. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. 
hold. Well done. Relax. Take a few now. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in, hold, breathe out, hold, Breathe in, hold, breathe out, hold, Well done. So please be careful if you cannot hold seven seconds, hold less, you know, maybe three or Relax five seconds. And get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in, hold, breathe out, hold, Breathe in, hold, breathe out, hold, Well done. I will hold for eight seconds. Will be gentle.
relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. Relax the breath. Exception breath. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. As you hold the focus, uh, hold the breath, focus on the prana and upana. Visualize that they are coming together. So that's where your focus should be on the abdomen. Visualizing the prana and upana coming together. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing.
Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. Good work to the next round. Nine seconds holding. Think this will make it the fourth set. So, so once again, the idea of practicing longer pranayam is your thoughts slows down, and this this becomes a subconscious process without your effortlessly. Your thoughts slow down. That's the idea. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. If you are having jerks in the breath, then stop and relax. 
the unless your breath is flowing very smooth, do not continue. So that means you are struggling. So that should not be there. So simply either relax. Practice the actual Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in, hold, breathe out, hold, Breathe in, hold, breathe out, hold. Well done. In the last round in this set, we will be left with two more rounds. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold, breathe out, hold, breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. The last two rounds. So we'll we'll do it two more times, holding ten seconds. 
But if you force yourself, instead of the thoughts, mind slowing down, you become agitated. So please be careful. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in, hold, breathe out, hold, Breathe in, hold, breathe out, hold, Well done. And the last round, then we'll proceed with the other breath. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold, breathe out, hold, Breathe in, hold, breathe out, hold, Well done. At the advanced stage, we are supposed to practice this three times a day. I may not be higher ratios, maybe five, five, ten, five. So, but before every meal, you should practice 27 rounds. But we know that is not possible for us because of the time constraint. But when you do have time, try that sometimes. And you can imagine what you can achieve. Okay, so we will practice yoga nitro. I do have a large belt. I have the seven pages. And just take your legs. Dark in your room, get ready for your Nidra. Switch off the lights. So yoga Nidra is a practice of relaxation that takes you deep into a psychic sleep. That means you are not actually sleeping. 
you are between waking and sleeping. You are probably a dreamy state. And if you follow the instructions that I'm going to give you, if you follow them, uh, follow me along, then you will find that most relaxing for you. So keeping the palms facing the ceiling, natural cover the fingers, make sure your eyes are closed. Allow the feet to fall to the sides. And then begin to feel the body as it lies on the floor. Feel the meeting points of the body and the floor. Under the shoulders, under the elbows, wherever they touch the floor, under the palms, under the hips, under the knees, and under the heels, and also under the head. Now, feel all those meeting points once again, and see how your body is sinking into the floor more and more nicely. As the body sinks into the floor, you are also feeling the heaviness of the body increasing. Now bring your attention to the chest area. From the chest, as you close your eyes, feel the space from the chest to the ceiling. Just feel it. Create a feeling of the space. Now, from the right side of your body, feel the space to the wall on the right. Now do the same with your left side, from the left side of the body to the wall on the left. Now bring your attention to the top of the head and feel the space from that spot to the wall behind and beyond your head. Now feel the space from the soles of your feet to the wall in front of the feet. Now feel the space once more under the body. How the body is grounded to the floor and your body is absolutely still and comfortably still. The word comfort is important in relaxation. If you're comfortable, you can continue. If you're not comfortable, you have to move until you are comfortable. So any change in position you can do now, but try not to keep moving. Try to be still. Only in stillness, you get a deep relaxation. Now bring your attention to each part of the body by bringing the consciousness to the right hand thumb. Your mind is moving to the thumb, but the thumb is not moving. You're bringing awareness to the thumb. Second finger. It goes very quickly now. Second finger, the third finger, the fourth finger, and the fifth finger, the front of the palm, back of the palm, and the elbow, the right shoulder, and the waist, the right hip, the right thigh, knee, calf muscle, ankle, heel, the right big toe, second, third, fourth, fifth. Now feel the whole of your right arm and the whole of your right leg, the whole of your right side and feel it is becoming heavier. And with that heaviness, you're also relaxing even more. Do the same with your left side, left hand thumb, second finger, third, fourth, fifth, front of the palm, back of the palm, wrist, elbow, shoulder, 
arm bit, raise, left hip, left thigh, knee, calf muscle, ankle, heel, left big toe, second, third, fourth, fifth. Now feel the whole of your left side once again, making sure it is heavier and also relaxing. Now attention on both arms and both legs. Both arms and both legs heavier than before. And as a result, you're also feeling a deeper relaxation. Bring your attention now to your lower back, middle back, and upper back. And begin to soften the entire spine with your thoughts. Bring your attention to the back of the neck. And soften the back of the neck, continue with the back of the head also, relaxing, and the top of the head. Now come to the top of the head, feel a sensation there. Feel the forehead and the space between the eyebrows. The space between the eyebrows is a very important center of energy. It's called the eye of Shiva, the third eye of Shiva. Continue down to the eyes, the right eye, the left eye, the right ear, the left ear, the right nostril, the left nostril, and the right cheek, the left cheek. So your mind is moving to all these parts quickly. Now feel the upper lip and the lower lip, and also the chin, front of the neck, chest, abdomen, internal organs. Feel the internal organs also. Now begin to scan your body from the head to the toes. Develop a homogeneous awareness of the whole body. Become aware of the space occupied by the body. Become aware of the whole body and the floor. The whole body in relation to the floor. At the same time, become aware of the meeting points of the body and the floor. These are very subtle physical points between the body and the floor. Feel the meeting point between the back of your head and the floor, shoulder blades and the floor, elbows and the floor, back of the hands and the floor, buttocks and the floor, the calves and the floor, the heels and the floor. Do not sleep. Switch your attention now to the eyelids. Feel the narrow line of meeting between the upper and lower eyelids. Feel the soft points where they meet. Intensify your awareness between the eyelids. Now, the lips. Center your attention on the line between the lips, the space between the lips. From the lips, we go to the breath. Draw your attention to the 
natural ingoing and outgoing breath. Feel the breath moving along the passage between the navel and the throat. On inhalation, it rises from the navel to the throat. On exhalation, it descends from the throat to the navel. Be completely aware of the respiration. Navel to throat, throat to navel. Do not try to force the breath. Just bring awareness to the breath. Now maintaining your awareness, start counting your breaths beginning from number 10, first exhalation number 10. Second exhalation number nine, continue until you are. Now you may stop counting. So let's come back to the body. Awaken the feeling of heaviness in the body. The feeling of heaviness in every single part of the body. You are, fe you are feeling so heavy that you are sinking into the floor. Awareness of Heaviness, awareness of heaviness. Now, let us reverse the whole scene. Awaken the feeling of lightness, the weightlessness. Feel completely weightless in your body in all parts of the body, your body feels like a piece of cotton, so very weightless. Awareness of lightness. Now begin to awaken the sensation of heat. Awaken the experience of heat in the body. The whole body, you feel it is hot. The whole body is hot. You feel hot all over. Recollect the feeling of heat when you're out in the sun with no shade, heat all over the body. Awareness of heat. Now once again, change and feel the experience of cold. Awaken the experience of bitter cold in the body. Imagine you're walking on a cold floor in winter. Your feet feel very cold. You feel cold all over. Awareness of coldness. Completely cold. Bitter cold.
Now bring your awareness to the dark space you see in front of your closed eyes. The dark space that you see in front of your closed eyes. Actually, this space can also be visualized in front of the forehead. So if you want to explore it a little, you can shift your gaze to the forehead. Watch the darkness that you see before you very carefully with detachment. Do not become involved. Rest your mind in this warm and friendly darkness. If any subtle phenomena manifest, for example, colors or patterns, simply take note of these and continue with your awareness. If thoughts begin to happen, let them come and go, but continue watching the dark space in the forehead. Continue this with detached awareness. Very slowly now become aware of your breathing. Become aware of your natural breathing. Become aware of your relaxation. Feel your normal breath. Gradually develop awareness of your physical existence. Become aware of your arms and legs and your body lying stretched out on the floor. Become aware of the meeting points between your body and the floor. Once again, gradually develop awareness of the room. Without opening the eyes, feel the colors of the walls, the ceiling, and then open your ears to any noises in the room and the noises outside. Externalize your mind, take your mind out at this point, but do not open your eyes until I tell you. Become completely external. Lie quietly for a few moments. Keep your eyes closed. Gradually when you are sure that you are wide awake, take a deep breath, inhale, and a long exhale. And after that, begin to bend your legs, shift over to the right side, and then bundle up into the child's pose. Become cozy, casual, and comfortable. You may gently press your left palm and sit up. Once you sit up, Generate some warmth and upright to your eyes. Oh, 
So we will conclude with Om Shanti. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Makashtitu Kavag Bhave Asatoma Sadgamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Rityor ma amritangamaya Om Purnamadat Purnamidam Purnat Purnamadachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shantishantishantihi I he owns the group of Maha. Thank you all. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day. Thank you, Balaji Garu. Thank you, Balaji Garu. Thank you.